Hello and welcome to the German Spearfishing Channel. Today I want to show you how to build a spear gun shock absorber bungee just out of normal materials that everyone has. Like this one. Okay, I found this training device on the garden sale and bought it for one euro. So this is the normal rubber which you use for a shock absorber. It's around six, seven millimeters and there's a diameter of three to four millimeters. And compared to this one, it's the same, really the same. So ask your mother, ask your girlfriend if they're still using it. Otherwise, it's perfect to build your own shock absorber. And this is what you need else. Normal swivel, you can find it in every spear fishing shop or um, fishing shop. Some Dyneema, it's two millimeters. A bigger string that you can retract like this. And a normal thinner string. Okay, let's start off. This will stay inside of the rubber. If it breaks, breaks away, it will help the fish. So go through the swivel and just do a normal knot. Okay, one. Okay, now you put the rubber over the retracting string. See again. Pull it over. That you still can twist it like this. Okay, now we do our first constrictor knot. Take some string. Okay, this is how to do it. I will upload now a picture how to do it. Okay, like in the picture, you do a cross like this. Hold the cross under this one. Okay, stole the cross over this one and under the cross. See? And when you pull it, you will pull it tight. So, put it at the end. That helps perfectly. Now we come to the second side. So how to do this one? You take the Dyneema, like every time burn off the ends. You need around 20 centimeters. So you cut it in half like this, not cut, but, and then do a normal, normal knot. And before you pull it tight, you take the take the band, the retracting one, put it through the loop, okay, and do a normal knot over the big loop, like like this, and pull that one tight first, okay. And now you can pull it tight together. So this helps. Okay. When your rubber is um, snapping, snapping from the knot, it will be no problem because this will help the fish. So what to do now? Okay, now we got our loop and held together. So now you just Take the rubber and pull it over the knot. Okay. 
And now we just need a second constrictor nut. Okay, now just cut the ends. Not too short. them down so now you have your own handmade shock absorber and see how it stops no fish will snap away from you if the rubber breaks so if you like this video just give me a thumbs up follow up my channel like every time Thank you and goodbye. If you got any further advices, feel free to give me. I'm happy to learn everything. Bye bye guys. <laughs>